Atheism is a religion. Atheists do not merely lack a belief based on a lack of evidence. This would require them to assess all of the available evidence, which they haven't. Most of them haven't even read the Bible, yet they spend their days discussing it as if they understand it better than the people that study it. Have you ever read right the way through I the Bible? Not. Okay. I had a Bible, didn't really dig in, didn't read it. Um, I just went to church like everybody else. I didn't get very far into it before I threw it across the room in disgust because it obviously wasn't the words of a supreme being. Nor have they examined or critically considered the evidence and the implications that the Bible has on these evidences. It's not up to me to prove that there are no gods. Therefore, they have faith that there is no evidence, not evidence that there is no evidence. So I can't prove there is no God or Yahweh. Hence, they are denying God's existence despite the evidence, not because of it. Charles Darwin says, I have never been an atheist in the sense of denying the existence of a God. Atheists have a collective belief system. Now, there, are, there is a worldview that many atheists share. A non-evidence-based belief system they call fact, and they attempt to force this on the populations while claiming to be an oppressed group. Because people make legislation based on these bull beliefs, and I have to be surrounded with, with people that hold to this and it affects people, it affects women's rights, it affects trans rights, it affects my gay friends. What the are you talking about? Discussing an amendment to a bill that would make parents guilty of child abuse if they don't affirm their child's gender identity. Let me tell you something about LGBTQ rights, about trans rights. This is only going in one direction. You will respect us. You can be upset. You can be angry. You can think it's unfair. You can feel like we're stealing something from you. But it's still only going in one direction. You will respect us. <laughs> They all share these similar or same beliefs, with varying minor differences, like denominations, but at the root, they all believe the same thing. They all believe the same origin stories, despite lacking actual practical empirical evidences. If you really have something that's concrete in science, you just show the data and you explain the data. But this, to me, sounds almost like a religion, where they're unable to defend it, so they, they get angry with me. Atheists are idol worshippers. They worship themselves as gods and the lusts of their flesh and the desires of the flesh. To be fair, I am an atheist activist. Hail Satan. This is why so many atheists identify as Satanists, because they understand what such idol worship entails. I'm just excited to see my Lord and Savior Baphomet represented in such glorious Italian stone. I do hope his eyes gaze upon me and that my allegiance is recognized. In the gospel, Satan says to Jesus, if you'll just bow down and worship me, I'll give you everything. Hear our Satan prayer. Idol worship, pagans, and self-worship as gods leads to destruction. Notice me, senpai! Notice me! In practice, atheists are religions. They're tax-exempt organizations. They have designated buildings for meetings. They have daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, community, city, nation, and globally. I've just been uh, de-baptized, so I have the actual certificate oh, really? to show that I've been de-baptized. They have high priests like Dawkins, Hitchens, Cross, Darwin, Aaron Raw, among many others of these high priests of atheism that speak on their behalf as well as give them quotes to regurgitate verbatim. I read Spider-Man and it said, oh look, there's the Times Square station. And I go back and see the Times Square station. Is that evidence that Spider-Man exists? This is kind of like the, the, um, the, the Dil Dilhunty rhetorical has trick. nothing to do with Dilhunty. They flock to hear, donate, and await their literature and lectures like any religious group would for their high priests. They have atheist worship music. They have media platforms, groups, and communities. <laughs> Podcasts, doctrinal videos, call-in shows and supports. They have their own therapies, websites, mega churches like the ACA, street preachers. They call their street preaching epistemology. It's really just the promotion of atheism and rely on people's ignorance of their well-known tactics and talking points among their religious group. Their apologetics constantly contradicts itself regarding their own worldviews, but they don't see it because cultists never do see it. They have an abundance of literature from their high priests and their holy texts and their secular biased unreliable source known as Wikipedia, which is the equivalent to the atheist Bible. They have protests and fundraisers. They date and marry among their religious affiliations. They are the biggest participants in cancel culture, reporting, name calling, they run away from hard discussions based on their own theology rather than engaging honestly, but that's what cult members do. 
They want their beliefs taught as truth and tolerated by all of the population. While many of their denominations would personally vote to make other religious texts and organizations illegal. But their cult, they expect, should be taught among everybody. Recently started a job as a school bus driver and on my bus one of the students was preaching about Catholicism and effectively converting the other students. They were interested, some of them were starting to talk about wanting to go to church, all that stuff. Mm. And I'm just, I'm wondering if that's something that as an educator we could like put a stop to, like put a stop to. Atheism is the most irrational, non-evidence-based, intolerant, dangerous religious cult to ever plague humanity in its short existence of this atheist movement. It's caused more death and slavery on average than all the other religions combined through history. But there's no reason to be walking around with a mask. When you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think that it is. There's nothing wrong with people wearing two masks. I often myself wear two masks because I represent science. Like their secular science, secular humanism is whatever they want it to be based on their own personal goals or the era and geography that their goals pertain to. And right now, their goal is to eradicate all other religions aside from their own. I think we should just go for complete annihilation of it. So when you see them in retreat, go for the end, go cut the throat. Atheism is a religious cult. This is my first time up here on the show. Yeah. I might get a fact wrong. I'm, I'm going to get something wrong at some something. point.